In America, little girls grew up with fairy tale dreams of pink princesses and endless possibilities. But here, in Czech Republic, things are different. My name is Susanna. I grew up hiding in shadows of impossibilities. As a teenager, I knew God had a call on my life for working with youth, especially young women. One time, my family traveled to Jablunkov to visit a group that had started there. God stirred something in my heart about that town, about the people of Jablunkov. I caught glimpses of a dream, but it was too dark to see it clearly then. Doubt and insecurity lay over me like shadows over my soul. I didn't believe it was possible for a woman to train or teach or to be a leader in the church. I felt inferior and insignificant, not at all like a leader. Eventually, my family attended church in Ginets, where I became involved in ministry with young people. But I still had a burden. I knew my calling was to go back to Jablunkov, but I assumed I would go to help another leader there someday. But little did I know, God had other plans. At the NLI Advanced Leadership Training Conference, God touched my heart like never before. He told me to go full-time in ministry and that he wanted me to plant a new church in Jablunkov. He wanted me to be a leader for his kingdom. I was in shock. I couldn't grasp this calling. I thought, I'm just a woman, what can I do? I was still standing in the shadows of insecurity and doubt. But at that conference, I heard many stories of women who God was using in such ways. I heard Melody Carlson from Minnesota, a woman trainer in the church, a leader for God's kingdom. This stirred something in me. She was doing what I had thought was impossible for a woman to do. And God was telling me that I could do it too. Now I am working toward the dream and the vision God gave me. In five years, there will be a fully functioning church in Jablunkov, full of young people, both men and women, who know Jesus. When I go into the streets and I see the people, I pray they would know God. I no longer see them in the darkness of the shadows that once lay over me. I see them as believers. I see how their lives will be. No more shadows only light.